that feels really good to say the Holy Ghost in my life affords certain riches if they're certain they're matter-of-fact they're there they're waiting for you but you gotta worship the right God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraut I thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and you've been blessed by these messages then consider becoming a partner with us and we appreciate you I'm gonna be saying things things that are excellent about the Living God say the Living God he's a living God he is alive does that surprise you if I talk about the Living God he's alive you can't be a living God and be dead you have to be alive and if we're people and when we're in the earth then this living God say living God, living God has to be alive and somehow demonstrable in our life and living yes. right yes. otherwise he's a dead God right. but he's not a dead God he's a living God he's alive and he's in the earth where are you you're in here are you alive yes. we should get both of you hooked up living God in the earth you're alive in the earth right yes. what could be better if you get to know the living God if you get to know anybody you get to learn about them does this make sense and you start to understand what they like and what they're not so fond of right or what they like and what they really like say what they like, what they like. and what they really what they like, like. And the only way you can find out what they really like is by having a relationship with them and getting to know them so that you can find this out so we're gonna be talking tonight about what does God enjoy are you here yes. now like I said I said this last week but I'm not a novice in this and you can find out things that God really enjoys God likes I'm gonna be using the scriptures you understand that I'm not just making stuff up but not only in using the scriptures but in a relationship with the living God you start to bump into things that he really likes and enjoys so what does God enjoy well first we're gonna have to cover the fact of who the living God is because how are you gonna know what he enjoys if you don't even know who he is so you got to know who he is you got to know who the living God is before you can start walking with him and know what he enjoys right second yes. Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 and what agreement hath the temple of God with idols for you are the temple of the living God, living God. so you say I, I am, am the temple of the living God you think you can know him you are the temple of the living God you should get to know him wouldn't this be good and if you get to know him you're gonna know things that he enjoys things that he likes and things that he really likes I've been doing this for a while I'm gonna share some of those things with you so now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost who is in you the other verse 2nd Corinthians 6 16 said you are the temple of the Living God this one says what know you not you are the temple of the Holy Ghost who is the Living God the Holy Ghost where is he he's in the earth because you're in the earth who's the living God holy who's the Holy Ghost living God. the Living God so if we're gonna be talking about the Living God tonight who am I talking about Holy Ghost, holy Ghost. we read on here it says uh, therefore glorify 
God in your body God who God the Holy Ghost God the Living God the Holy Ghost he's alive and he's living in your body and sadly he's living a sad life in most people's sad bodies isn't that sad mm -hmm. glorify God in your body glorify magnify worship God in your body I've said this a number of times what do you go to the temple for to worship God you is the temple you is should be worshiping God that's in the temple he's the living God now most people wouldn't have a problem if I said you should worship the living God they'd be like yes amen we should worship the living God but then when I go and explain exactly who the living God is say exactly, exactly. Then they'd have a problem many of them if you say worship the Holy Ghost but here it says glorify worship God in your body God the Holy Ghost so does God like worship yes. Luke 4 8 says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve John 4 24 says God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth mm -hmm. they that worship him must worship him said it twice right does God like worship yes. if he doesn't like it worship he wouldn't have told us to do it right. mm -hmm. if God's like I like a lot of stuff I don't like that stop that imagine that God's not gonna do that he's encouraging people to worship him or do you understand right he says so in his word I gave you two scriptures and there are many others mm -hmm. if he didn't want us to worship him or he didn't like it he wouldn't have told us to do it in his Bible right. which is his word of God he breathed it forth it is his will it is his word it's his desire say his desire therefore it pleases him and he must enjoy it are you getting this well I got news for you God likes worship it pleases him and he gets joy out of it he's God I'm not making this up God likes worship the living God likes worship and I'm telling you from experience and also from the word does God like worship yes. have we covered that we can see that is the Holy Ghost God yes. we I just showed you he is the living God he's alive he's in the earth is the Holy Ghost God mm -hmm. yes does he the Holy Ghost have all the attributes of God and all the attributes of a person mm -hmm. yes he does is this attribute he has all the attributes of God say that he has yes. all, all the attributes, the attributes of, God. of God is liking worship an attribute of God yes. Yes. am I making this clear enough yes. should you therefore worship the Holy Ghost yes because yes, he likes it if there was no other reason but he tells you to God is a spirit they that worship him must worship him should you worship the Holy Ghost yes should you worship the Living God some people would adamantly say no what's blocking you I'll tell you what's blocking you religious devils are blocking you you need to get rid of those so you can worship the Living God and join us in worshiping the true and living God are you here I take authority over religious devils that keep you from it in Jesus name be free people that are blocked from worshiping the living it sounds sounds silly when I say it that way right mm -hmm. you don't even know who he is the Holy Ghost that he's the living God so your ideas about what he enjoys amount to religious fiction 
Are you here? Is this fun yet? The worship pleases God. Worship pleases the living God. Worship pleases the Holy Ghost. Well, what do you mean by worship? Singing songs? No, I mean I worship you, Holy Ghost. Those words, using those words, pleases God. Say, using those words, using those words. pleases God. Pleases if I use those words, use those words. He, is he is pleased with me. And you are fulfilling your purpose as a temple of God. Can you see that? What? Glorify God in your body. Is your mouth part of your body? Yes. Should you glorify God with your mouth? Yes. Should you worship God with your mouth? Yes. Who? From experience, I'm telling you, I've made more progress in this room of Holy Ghost worship than in just about any other room combined. And I pray in tongues a lot. Mm -hmm. I meditate in the Word a lot. But worshiping the Holy Ghost has opened up a room of favor and blessing with the Holy Ghost that nothing else can do because I'm fulfilling my purpose my special purpose I'm telling you the Holy Ghost enjoys worship and I got news for you in your flaky head you'll start to enjoy it if you do it you do it enough and learn how to do it the right way you'll start to enjoy it and he'll start to enjoy it and he'll get he'll just start blessing you with things worship makes things available to you that weren't available to you before what things his things and he's got some things in fact worship is a vehicle that brings things to you say this when i worship, when I worship the, holy ghost, the holy ghost things, things are, brought are brought to me, to me. The angels have a lot to do with that I've covered that before and the Holy Ghost says you have no idea what I will do for you if you will worship me he's the Living God can he do anything can the Living God do anything yes. can he do anything for you yes. why would he want to do something for you because you worship him and you are his temple he's living he's trying to live mm -hmm. we're talking about God the living God being able to do things for you worshiping him making things available for you making God willing to do things for you and we're talking about what God enjoys Job chapter 1 verse 9 Satan answered the Lord and said doth Job fear God for not now that word fear is sometimes translated fear it's sometimes translated worship depends on where you find it it's the same word does job worship god for nothing for nothing meaning to no effect or getting nothing out of it if i could get you to go here you will get something out of it verse 10 hath not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side hast thou not blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land Satan himself knew why Job was protected and blessed and he was one of the wealthiest people in the land did job worship God for nothing no where did and we see here and then you know he was tested to see if he would worship God if he had nothing but he did mm -hmm. and guess what he got all the stuff back why because it comes through the vehicle of worshiping God it had to come from God it came from the Living God say the blessing, the blessing. comes from the living, God, the living God not the devil can you see this here when Satan was able to get at Job what happened he blessed him more he made him famous and wealthy no Job was already famous and wealthy because what God did when Satan came and got involved what happened took it away the thief comes not but for to kill steal and destroy mm -hmm. Luke chapter 4 look at verse 5 same devil different day 
and the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee in the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it do we know the devil to be an honest chap no. or is he a deceiver so something in here had to be a lie I mean it's twisted verse 7 if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine now remember what what was job back then when job worshiped the living god god blessed him in all that he had and kept the devil off of him and made him one of the wealthiest people and famous people are you here yes. in the world because here's the devil saying oh you got to worship me verse 8 and jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve notice in response to the devil he didn't correct the part about getting the kingdom and the riches and the glory but about who you worship to get it how many of you know that if the devil somehow got you riches they would be uncertain riches they uncertain riches filthy mammon first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches who's the god of uncertain riches that would be the devil right trust not in uncertain riches but don't trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy is this in your Bible yes. who's the living God Holy the Holy Ghost does the living God give us richly all things to enjoy According to this verse of scripture therefore he must have all things or have power over all things to be give, to be able to give you the all things otherwise this verse of scripture is a lie but we know the Holy Ghost doesn't lie the devil lies are you here yes. the Holy Ghost the Living God has power to give you all things he has the right he has the authority he has the power he has the ability Holy Ghost Living God has the ability and power and authority to give you all things not the devil trust not in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. so the living God in my life can you see this now the living God in my life richly provides me another another translation says richly provides me with all things mm -hmm. to enjoy mm -hmm. say to enjoy. to enjoy would it be wrong for me to say that that the living God in my life richly say richly richly, richly provides me with all things to enjoy mm -hmm. so the Holy Ghost in my life affords certain riches that feels really good to say the Holy Ghost in my life affords certain riches certain riches not uncertain you see how he's comparing them don't trust in the uncertain ones trust in the certain ones if they're certain they're matter-of-fact they're there they're waiting for you but you got to worship the right God are you here that's why Jesus didn't correct that part of what the devil was saying he was saying who you got to worship <sighs> so a relationship with the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy my relationship with the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy he must have the ability to give them if he says he's gonna give them what if I were to say that the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy you gonna write me a nasty letter 
I'm just quoting a scripture now many times when you quote scriptures and you meditate it that's what meditate means it means to mutter and so you might say something like this you might say living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I trust in the living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy you might spend some time just saying that you might especially if you're around here long enough but as you do these things things begin to unwrap to you living God gives me richly all things to enjoy the living God gives me richly all things for enjoyment the living God gives me richly the living God gives me richly all things for enjoyment the living God what do you suppose in this verse of scripture is the living God getting joy out of giving you richly all things I told you the Holy Ghost likes worship and worship ends up bringing you into things right we saw Job God brought him things and then God the living God enjoys giving you richly all things that will make people mad say this the living God, the living God gives me, gives me richly, richly all things, all things. say this the living, the living God enjoys finds joy, finds joy giving me, giving me richly, richly all things, all things. I'm telling you it's true <laughs> he enjoys it he gets a kick out of it it's something he really enjoys and I said this a long time ago you know and I got some raised eyebrows but I'll say it again that's one of his favorite scriptures how would you know this because I know him wouldn't one of your favorite scriptures be something you get the most joy out of for enjoyment the Holy Ghost gives you richly all things you getting this yeah so you say the living God richly provides me with all things for his enjoyment yeah you enjoy it but he enjoys it he enjoys this for enjoyment the living God gives me richly all things is this fun yet and how can you trust in the living God if you don't even know who he is first Timothy 6 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who the living God who well I've been talking about the living God being the Holy Ghost do you understand that he's living he's in the earth he's alive he's in the earth but who is he living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy who is he he's the Holy Ghost but he is gives me richly all things to enjoy so often God will put his name onto what he does the Lord our healer the Lord our provider living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy it's his name I worship living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy I worship the God whose name is gives me richly all things to enjoy are you here yes. we're talking about him we're talking about the Holy Ghost we're talking about who he is this is his name you know some of the Indians some of the other cultures have better grasp on this Hebrews right mm -hmm. they would know this people are named what was Abraham's name father of many nations it was who he was when people said Abraham they were saying father of many nations that's what his name meant over here we got Bob and all these other real doesn't mean anything just it's just a tag to get you to turn around maybe some of you know the Indians here Native Americans sitting bull he might have got some bulls to sit down dances with wolves why do they call him dances with wolves because that's what he did he danced with wolves. are you here living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy it's his name it's what he does
so we're talking about glorifying him in your body glorifying who Holy Ghost gives us richly all things to enjoy some of you are getting this Psalm 35 27 let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause what are we doing here if we're shouting for joy shouting for joy and being glad we're enjoying right joy enjoying mm -hmm. I'm enjoying mm -hmm. shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause let them say continually mm -hmm. if I say continually what does that mean say I'm saying it continually I'm saying it all the time mm -hmm. all the time I'm saying it let the Lord be magnified now remember glorify God in your body magnify God let the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant does God have pleasure in prosperity of a servant yes. Yes. how what's his servant doing here his servant is one who's saying continually I like to say it this way he has pleasure in his saying servant how do we walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today by saying things what are we saying we're saying what pleases him let the Lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant I say this continually God takes pleasure in prospering me say that God, God. takes pleasure in prospering, prospering. Me. me okay you can say that once but don't say it again continually God takes pleasure in prospering me when I come in when I go out when I go over there when I come over here God takes pleasure in prospering me are you here that's his righteous cause mm -hmm. he likes it you're a saying servant when you say continually all right so I am his saying servant and he takes pleasure in prospering me he lives in me some of you don't know what it's like to have the Living God richly provide you with anything it's because you're not saying anything and he can't prosper his servant because you're not being his servant by saying it you're not being a good temple in fact sometimes you don't even know what it is what it is until you start saying it the obedience to say precedes the having it saying what how about first Timothy 6 17 the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy when I say that I'm the same saying servant yeah but that's just spiritual things the Living God gives you richly all spiritual things to enjoy that wouldn't be all things would it that would be spiritual things and it didn't say that it said all things besides the fact that he was just talking about money we're talking about what God enjoys we see this where he, he enjoys worship worship brings you into some things he enjoys richly providing you with things are you here he, he enjoys it does God enjoy nice things yes. well just for an example think about heaven for a minute are there nice things in heaven I would say that things that are not nice are not there mm -hmm. why would that be because he doesn't like those mm -hmm. does God like nice things yes. yeah so next time that you get something nice listen to me next time that you get something nice enjoy it let him know that you enjoy it let him know and it will increase it will increase the Holy Ghost says I will increase it he brings you something nice what's your job ignore it no enjoy it and let him know 
that you enjoy it and appreciate it and it will increase are you here yeah. if you enjoy it it will increase first timothy 6 17 again living god richly provides me with all things for enjoyment it becomes personal can you see this living god i mean he brings something that you like i don't want a pretty dress what am i supposed to be a fancy boy walk around and pretty no but he might want to bring you might want a, a fancy dress <laughs> are you here the living god richly provides me with all things it becomes personal he likes to prosper you whatever you like say whatever i like, whatever I like. say whatever, whatever i like, I like it becomes personal your situation my situation vastly is improved through my relationship with the living God say my situation is vastly improved through my relationship with the living God are you hearing this and when it is enjoy it and it will increase if you can hear that it'll take you there to a new life to a greater life to a great life my greatest possession personally is the ability to say things in agreement with the Holy Ghost who is the Living God my greatest possession say my greatest possession is the, is the ability to say things, to say things. In, agreement in agreement with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost. you eventually own it when you begin saying a verse of scripture you eventually own it it becomes you you become it you become a manifest temple of the Living God with that verse of scripture and he enjoys it are you getting this Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it if I say that I eventually own it if I say that and I own it does that please God it's his word yes he enjoys it now look at this the blessing of the Lord what is the blessing blessing is saying something over the saying something of the Lord the Holy Ghost the Living God right makes me rich and he adds no sorrow with it look at this the blessing of stop right there and let's just read the rest of the verse the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it who makes rich and adds no sorrow with it Lord. so he must have the ability and the riches to give you in order to have it are you here yes. The Lord makes does your Bible say that the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it how can you go wrong saying what God said this pleases him he enjoys it this is how you please him that's how you give him joy I boldly say the Lord is the Living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy I boldly say it no one has plumbed the depths of this until now this has been saved for this last generation for they shall go forth from glory to glory with the Holy Ghost you understand that's where we're going from glory to glory as you get to one level of glory listen enjoy it let him know you enjoy it and he'll bring you another level of glory and we go to the next level of glory increasing glory to glory now I challenge you especially you here and partners I challenge you to say the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I challenge you to say it 
say it every day work on it what do you mean work on it I mean say it for a period of time living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God gives me richly all things to enjoy and as you do it you will begin to manifest that in your life he will begin to change you into that verse of scripture and everything around you will be living God richly providing me with all things for my enjoyment because that's who he is he's the living God he boldly say it but we are transformed by the glory that we receive from him we go from glory to glory so we receive glory by knowing him then we go to the next level of glory until the earth can no longer contain us and we have to leave let me bless you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people I thank you that they are blessed and I thank you that they've heard the word and as they apply the word in their life I shall come into your situation and change it into a representation of myself where I am the living God and my desire is to live through you so be awake and be alive and learn to speak in agreement with my word and so shall things change and th so, so so shall things get better and improve until you'll look back on it and say I can't believe that I used to live like that for the living God is taking his place in your life we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand and say this after me living God, living God. Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost I thank you, I thank you. for manifesting, manifesting yourself, yourself in my life, in my life. As, the as the one who richly, richly gives me all things God to enjoy I expect it and I enjoy it as it comes in and I thank you for it in Jesus name Amen